Hey heroes, welcome back. Sir Matt and Sir Ezra here again with another video and we want to talk about Lan and Nynaeve's relationship. Yeah, so this is something we talked about in the last episode, our episode five kind of predictions because now that we're getting further in right on this pace, right, and trying going off some of the episode titles, uh, we're starting to run into some questions, some theories and thoughts because, you know, one of the things we said earlier was maybe they don't kill Lan, um, but then Tom. because, or excuse me, yeah, yeah. Tom, not Lan, yeah, yeah. Um, they don't, they don't kill Tom, people, everyone's like, what, like, what? <laughs> they don't kill, <laughs> they don't, they don't kill Tom, because that uh, just might be easier to keep him going, right, um, but then you run into the issue in episode roughly five, which, you know, if it seems like, I mean, I'm just going off the episode titles, to me, it seems like the most likely scenario is that episode five is a little more Rand, Matt, Perrin focused, and episode six, The Flame of Tarvalin, is probably just going to be more Nynaeve, Egwene focused, but in that, you know, you would have to have Nynaeve's trials, right, in, in becoming an Aes Sedai, but well, one of the big things she sees in the trials is her life with Lan. Um, she sees she saw, sees a possibility of a life with Lan, right? Because they have been kind of slowly developing this relationship. Well, the issue you run into in in this kind of a pace is in the books, you've had roughly you know sixty to seventy chapters. Uh, now, not every chapter is about them, but I mean it happens over a much bigger period of time than you would like two episodes ago. I, you know, and so that's yeah. that's going to be interesting to see how they do that, yeah. um, and how they how they begin to kind of tease this relationship. Because really, you've had, um, you know, when when they when everyone gets split up and Nynaeve is with Moraine, you know, like she gets frustrated by Lan, right? But it's that kind of like oh, you know, frustration that turns into yeah, you know, a relationship, right. and then. At the, you know, towards the end of Eye of the World, we, uh, you know, ran over here's a conversation, right? You know, that they're, that they're having. And then there's another kind of conversation that takes place, you know, it's kind of the beginning of the Great Hunt. And then we have a conversation with Lan and Moraine about, you know, mm -hmm. our, the bond, the right? Bond. The warder's yep. bond. And so by the time, by the time we get to the point where Nynaeve is having her trials and one of the things she sees is the possibility of a life with Lan, you know, we, we've, we've been involved and invested and it's, it's worked itself out over, you know, roughly, you know, however many chapters it's in, it's still maybe like five to six chapters that it's been woven in inside of the story. So it feels fluid and goes long. But if you do it here, it's going to be like, man, if you feel like these guys just met. <laughs> like, right. I get what you're saying. I do, because you're, you're talking about like a, a relationship that kind of like develops over a whole book. It's, it's, we're way more engaged with it. And, and we are starting to see those little tiny, uh, breadcrumbs, those hints that maybe a relationship is is happening. Some people, uh, there have been some people who kind of say they don't really see that in the eye of the world as clearly as maybe, like some of them kind of think that, oh, it was like they didn't pick up on the breadcrumbs. They are there. And, and I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, my, I didn't my first time. I was, yeah. you know, in our, in our, in our podcast, uh, yeah. you know, this is my, you know, this is my first read of it so far. And uh, I was like, wow, that is like, all of a sudden, but then I go, right. but then when we started, I started studying the chapters, you know, going back and looking, I'm like, Oh no, no, no. Like the chapters where you can see it a little bit easier, right? Like the chapters where she's kind of frustrated with Lan, right. You well, know, that and, man's and, always yeah. with her. Right. Yeah. The, the competitiveness too. So could she exactly. sneak up on him or did he give her a compliment um, about, you know, something? Yeah. So it, th like they're there, it's just some people think they're a little bit subtle, but I kind of get what you're saying. So like if the episodes one through four are going to be, you know, let's say the eye of the world cover those events. Like, should we start, like, should there be bigger, I guess, breadcrumbs early on in, in episode one, two, and three. So that way, by the time we see an episode, maybe six, like her going through her trial to be accepted or whatever, we're, we're like, oh, okay, that's not as abrupt. Now, the other thing, and I think people might um, want to want to hear this, is that like when she comes out of those um out of that trial and she's there, she asked the question, was that real, right? Like what she saw uh, and what she went through in her testing, what was that actually real? So it's sort of, you're facing your fears and that was her, her fear of the future. So you could say maybe, well, maybe not, you know, maybe, right. Maybe that helps people not go. That's a, like, 
that went that escalated quickly. Although right. it does show you what's going on like inside of her and that she is thinking about that and is anxious or contemplating or, or at least has very strong feelings uh, for Lan at that time. So, yeah, you would not want episode four to be like the first time that you get any indicator that like, <laughs> right. I, right? That's what you're saying. Is that you would not want that to be the episode. So it's got to be earlier. And it is there in the books. It's just, it's a little more subtle. And as you said, you had just read Eye of the World and it didn't, you didn't see it coming. Now, no, maybe they, like, maybe wow, they want to, yeah. yeah, maybe they're going for that in the, in the TV show. Maybe that's the thing. And sort of like, well, like, like what happened here? Uh, but I think they're going to do more earlier on to sort of indicate right. that there's some sort of sparks going on, you know? So, yeah. So your, I, I guess your options would be, we don't necessarily need to show this now. Maybe we could, um, you know, cut that out as part of her trial or you just kind of display it maybe as like a vision or it's unclear or, yeah. you know, and so you just leave it kind of open to am- ambiguous and then people can kind of go, go from there i mean it's, it's even right. in the books it still is it's like hold on what you know she saw that but oh, yeah. it's like oh i can see that as a future that she would see because right. also you know lan has been questioned by moraine mm-hmm. about kind of you know naive and stuff like that too so it's like clearly yeah yeah we're just beating around the bush here and it's sort of like it's it that we know there's a chance it's it's possible uh, at this point but then is that actually going to happen or not and then when and then like, you know, you almost want that tension, that suspense to just kind of keep building and building and building and building. And then it just like the payoff is just awesome at the end. And it will be. Um, it's just the initial reaction, I think, is what you're thinking. If you're the showrunner, like, how do I want to start to, uh, you know, lay this down for folks to see? Yeah, that I think is, a, is an interesting question. And I, I would love to hear what people think about it, because I don't know that it's a maybe it's easier than I think to, to kind of pull off. I think it's just going to be in the way the characters act. I think it's going to be in their mannerisms, body language, um, doing one little cut where, like, you know, people are splitting up, right? But those two are, there's a lingering stare between them. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's the kind of stuff that maybe we couldn't have seen. We don't really get in the book. Maybe we can get more of that in this adaptation than we got in the book earlier on, it is, I, I hope, uh, what what is happening. So, yeah, we shall see. But it, it's exciting to think about, and it's um, it's one of my favorite uh parts of the whole series so I, just, I love it i love it so much so yeah i don't know but good question good thought and and yeah that's uh, again a big plug for our podcast if you're only watching us here on on youtube we do have a podcast where uh sir matt is marching through the series for the first time so a lot of the stuff we do here on youtube is spoiler up to a point um right. where where he has read and then i will kind of once we reach that cap go beyond that a little bit and continue to do some some other types of content but uh, yeah, it's a, you know, we, we were sitting over here and I said, let turn the camera back on. Let's, let's, let's start talking about this because that's a really interesting dynamic to season one. And, and how do you pull off that relationship? So, and there's actually more of those as we're talking about this, I'm thinking about other relationships that happened in those first couple books. And you're like, eh. you know, I mean, right. We already well, got a big and, hint to some of them happening. And, so. Right. And we talked, right. Like we talked about one of the last episodes with Tom. Well, I mean, so there's going to be things right where it's if you don't include this here how can you do this later and so this the pay i mean the biggest thing about this show is going to be the pace because there's just there's too much ground to cover to cover it all and so the interest i mean it's how do you what do you keep what don't you that's the that's what we keep talking about here so let us know guys leave us a comment uh, let us know what do you guys think. How are they going to introduce it? What are they? What are they keeping? What are they cutting? Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like it. Hit the like button if you like it. And uh, we will see you next time. And remember that the grave is no bar to our call.